What's going on guys, Landon Huffman here back with another video. Today we are at the historical Rockingham Speedway located in the heart of the Carolinas for a Class A series track guide. This place is notorious for being rough as hell man. It has showcased a lot of side by side action over the years, especially in the Cup Series dating all the way back to the mid 60s. It is a one mile short track with banked turns of both 22 and 25 degrees. Your problem spot at this place is going to be turns one and two pretty much throughout the entire week. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and get into our keys for the week quickly our three keys to this week are going to be number one back up your corner it's going to be all about the bottom here at Rockingham this week you got to get out of the gas really early get on those brakes and get to the bottom of the racetrack before you throttle back up Tip number two is going to be protect the right front. This is going to come hand in hand with you backing your corner up. So you got to take care of that right front and get straight up off the corner. And our last key is going to be set up to pass. You've got to set these guys up to get up off the corner and get underneath them. If you try to pass them on entry, it's just not going to work for you. So uh, now we're going to hop in our Sim Seats Total Advantage Chevrolet and make a few laps here and we'll go over that. All right, we're on board here in my Chevrolet Camaro, getting through turns three and four on the bottom. You see how rough it is here. Front stretch is a little odd at Rockingham, so we're gonna have a little kink here right as we cross the start finish line. Off the gas on the brake pretty hard. I got into the corner a little hard right here. As you can see, I'm up the racetrack a bit, but sometimes that works out because you can dime in the corner like I just did. Down Thunder Alley here, the back stretch, getting into three again gonna break really early turn down to the bottom get to the yellow line as quick as you can and back to the throttle you're gonna be really rough when you're back to the gas that's just gonna be how it is especially here you know late in a run it's gonna get even rougher and tighter as you go uh, that's why you gotta take care of that right front and get it up off the bottom got through one and two really good right there but it does tend to tail swipe a little bit up off the corner but you just got to take care of it Racing side by side with guys is going to be tough. That's why you've got to really get your stuff woke down and get back to the throttle before they do. If you get hung on the top here, you're going to go to the back, especially in the fixed setup. Um, an open setup probably won't be as bad because you're going to be turning better, but with the fixed setup being so tight, uh, you're definitely going to have to fight for the bottom. I am running a 14 to 1 steering ratio here. If you're having problems this week getting it up off the corner, without killing the right front, try up in your steering ratio to 14 or 16 to one because steering inputs do make a big difference on saving that right front tire. All right, guys, time-wise this week, I think the fixed setup, the fast guys are going to be in the 2270s. Maybe you might even see a 2260. Um, I was able to run in the 80s pretty consistently my first couple of laps, and I did hit 170, but I think it's going to be tough. If you're not in the top split every week and you're running 80s, you're going to be in really good shape. Um, as far as fall off goes, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be as the run goes on. As long as you're being consistent, it's going to pay off for you. This track is super hard to hit your line every single uh, corner. So if you're taking care of it and you're able to be consistently running, you know, relatively close lap times, then you're going to be in good shape the longer the run goes. Real quickly guys, let's talk about turns one and two. This is gonna be where you make up your most time in my opinion. Um, in the road to pro race, if you got through one and two in the truck, you were really, really good. So I think if you can get through one and two, you're gonna be able to set people up down that long back stretch and get by them down here in three and four. So it's all about getting it worked down and pointing the left front straight at the yellow line and getting into the corner once you start applying your brake. And if you can get down there and get through the bottom without any issue, then you're gonna be chilling. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.